It's been a while since we saw a gaming phone in the smartphone market. The Honor Play launched at 20,000 rupees for the starting variant of 4GB RAM gives you great internals at a mid-budget price. You're watching India Today Tech, I'm Rahul Sethi and let's take a look at the gaming prowess of the Honor Play and we'll also take a look at how battery lasts on this phone while you're gaming and while you're not. Let's begin. The Honor Play has been bestowed with the best chipset Huawei has for its phones, the Kirin 970. It is the same chipset used on the premium Huawei P20 Pro that costs over 50,000 rupees. If we compare it with Snapdragon 845, the Kirin 970 is made on the similar 10 nanometer process, but it has different cores. Though it's very difficult to make a head to head comparison, Kirin 970, thanks to its dedicated NPU, delivers very close results compared to the Snapdragon 845. Though the effect of this powerful processor is visible when you're using the interface as the EMUI 8.2 runs very snappily on the phone. There is no lag and no delay whatsoever while you're opening or closing the apps or switching from one app to another, which means that multitasking and daily use will be a breeze. There's something called GPU Turbo technology which Huawei has put on the Honor Play and the company says it allows the phone to have enhanced frame rates and a very stable gameplay with lower power consumption and improved battery life while you're playing graphic intensive games. It also improves the thermal efficiency of the phone. But right now only one game supports the GPU Turbo technology. We played PUBG and that is the only game supported by GPU Turbo right now on Honor Play. But yes, gaming is really smooth on the device. You'll see there are no frame drops and the gaming is quite smooth on the phone. In fact, while you're in the game menu, the transitions and the menu handling is also done pretty nicely. Asphalt 9 works amazingly well on the phone. All the transitions and graphic effects are rendered well in the high graphic settings. The color production of the IPS panel brings out accurate and nice looking colors and delivers very satisfactory experience. Though most locations on the Asphalt 9 are outdoors, it was while playing Modern Combat 5, we felt a lack of adequate brightness level. Since most of the gameplay happens to be in the dark, even at full brightness, we struggled to get through the game. Shifting to a place where ambient light is lower would help. But the first person shooter game also brought out our notice to the smooth and quick touch response of the phone. It is something you require of a good gaming phone and Honor Play definitely has it. It won't be wrong to say that both Modern Combat or PUBG would heat up the phone. But it's not something you would not expect of a flagship processor. It doesn't get warm no more or no less than a phone running flagship chipset. What worries us is that the phone will not have enough juice to power your phone for the rest of the day if you spend it on gaming. Honor Play uses about 5% of battery for every 10 minutes of gaming you do on it, which means an hour of gaming will take away 30 to 35% of the battery. And this is expected of any phone that comes with a notch display. The Honor Play has a 6.3 inch display and packs a 3750 mAh battery. It's a big display and the battery is not that big. I'm not saying this is better or worse than any other flagship phone because most phones nowadays try to give you a bigger display in a smaller size. So battery is always a constraint. So this was our gaming review of the Honor Play. Let us know what you think about the phone in the comment section below. Also, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and share it with your friends. Subscribe to our channel to get latest videos on gadgets and technology like this. Thank you for watching.